So the Karmix, this matriarchic energy, this controlling, abusive, domineering, masculine energy that caused depression and sadness and repressed emotion and the divine masculine was trying to prevent any forward movement, the chariot in reverse. Divine masculine or divine feminine could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Divine masculine's moon sign could definitely be Cancer. But <clears throat> this very angry, masculine, domineering, empress in reverse, mother figure or karmic partner. And remember, this karmic partner had masculine tendencies. This is someone that the divine masculine respected. That's why it could be a karmic partner, but I take this more so as being a deep seated conditioning, you know, um, a deep sort of uh, soulmate connection or someone that the divine masculine had faith in, someone he wanted to or was supposed to respect. Um, but there was abuse, there was neglect. There was a sense of resentment with this relationship and energy is energy. Now this mother figure, this karmic could be a feminine energy, but has masculine tendencies in, in terms of being very domineering, being very um, harsh, um, very... Um, controlling but this energy here was a burden for the divine masculine who definitely could be an earth or fire sign very prominent in this reading so far was trying to block probably from the very first knowledge of this divine connection probably before either of the divine counterparts knew what this connection was all about these little vibrational energies wanted to control and manipulate to prevent the divine masculine from bringing any sort of bond, close bond, or connection toward the Divine Feminine. They wanted to tempt him with overindulgence. They wanted to create a sense of stifledness in this connection by any means necessary whether that was um uh down talking the divine feminine whether that was creating blocks temptations self-doubt The goal was to really create a disconnection between the Divine Masculine and his Queen of Cups, Divine Feminine, to create this Two of Swords in reverse, confusion, overwhelm, and a complete complete disconnection 
and blockage between the two counterparts. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Seven of Swords. Ugh. Wow. Fixed water. Like I said, the Divine Feminine could definitely be a Scorpio. That's our fixed water sign but definitely a water energy here um the karmics or this matriarch matriarchic energy wanted to create deception they wanted to steal the divine feminine's light they wanted to mimic the divine feminine's energy because on sight they realized that this energy was cut from a different cloth that this energy was intuitive that this energy had a major effect on the divine masculine in a very positive way and that was something that the karmics didn't appreciate because it took away their sense of control. It made them look at themselves. The, having this energy around the divine masculine made this matriarchic figure take a look within herself, this karmic take a look within self to see um, face to face in the mirror, the type of low vibration and low energy that they were in. Therefore, they tried to steal the divine feminine's light Okay, the Seven of Swords speaks of just really, I, the Seven of Swords card is very much one of my worst cards in the deck. It's just pure betrayal, deception. These energies around the Divine Masculine wanted to deceive the Divine Masculine in terms of the divine feminine's reputation, create stories, create lies. Even I'm hearing the divine masculine is saying that because of the divine feminine's light and how intimidating it was at the time for even the divine masculine, he wanted to escape this connection he didn't want to take responsibility for this connection and he was a part of the betrayal upon the divine feminine but even he was deceived the connection was already too powerful for him but these dark and low vibrational energies even this domineering abusive king of pentacles in reverse and in reverse this motherly figure this abusive energy around the divine masculine saw the divine feminine's light and even though the divine masculine is not innocent in this sabotage against the divine feminine there were things done unbeknownst to the mind to the divine masculine from almost the very beginning to create blockages to do work against the divine feminines abundance and finances there were all kinds of horrible things done to sabotage this connection based off of devil energy and fear and wanting to control the divine masculine to keep 
that manipulative controlling energy around him due to certain energies not wanting to have to face their history face their demons and not even so much face them but not wanting to lose control of the divine masculine and keeping him repressed and keeping these secrets and these ways of existence that the divine masculine and these karmics and these karmic family members were used to. It was almost a lifestyle, a coven that they didn't want this light energy to crack into because they knew very well that this person was very intuitive so they did whatever they could do to deceive and to steal the divine feminine's light and create blocks and deception around this divine con connection. Now to clarify the Queen of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, of course we have the Seven of Swords is what clarified the Queen of Cups, but on the bottom of the deck, energy is queen of cups okay so yeah these energies saw this divine feminine as very much a protector a healer a light that couldn't be reckoned with in the beginning they al almost saw her as prey as something that they could steal energy from to continue in their low vibrational deception and to keep control of the divine masculine and keep him in the low vibrational energies of deception and theft and greed. clarify the two of swords and the uh, prince of pentacles this is the divine masculine trying to move past this confusion and overwhelming um overwhelming fear and conflict that was created around this union and this is a Virgo energy here with the Prince of Pentacles, one of the slowest moving knights in the deck. But we already have the Emperor out here representing the Divine Masculine. We already have the Empress out representing the Divine Feminine. Okay, so this Prince of Pentacles energy was, is just representing how the Divine Masculine is methodically and was focused on moving past this this energy clarify the two of spores in reverse and the prince of pentacles the knight of pentacles who is the knight of pentacles what energy surrounds the knight of pentacles two of swords So to clarify the Two of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Prince of Chalices. So the Divine Masculine wants to move past fear and confusion 
he's methodically working on a surefire perfect plan he doesn't want to be hasty he doesn't want to be brash like the prince of swords but he wants to be sure and he wants to take his time and he has moved past this two of swords energy and he wants to come in cup in hand and he wants to work at moving forward in this connection the divine feminine is his fulfillment but he really fears that he's lost her he really feels that he cannot get over some obstacles because the divine has stepped in and so much has been done and so much has been said but this divine masculine that is coming through sees the divine feminine as his protector as his healer as her energy is healing to him and she sees he sees her as his inspiration how strong she has been through all of the pain that many have caused her and that he has caused her intentionally caused his divine feminine but he's advancing he also wants that reciprocated he wants to be inspiration for his divine feminine he wants to help heal his divine feminine he wants to offer her something unlike the past he wants to offer inspiration and fulfillment to his divine feminine divine masculine could be a gemini libra aquarius bottom of the deck ace of cups the divine masculine is coming through and he's making it clear that he wants a new beginning with his divine feminine he no longer wants to repress his emotions he no longer wants to be separate from his divine feminine. He wants to be vulnerable. He wants to express love to the divine feminine. He has compassion for divine feminine. So much compassion for her that he has not been able to share because it goes very deep it goes back to his childhood with this energy here. This earth energy, this empress in reverse, this um, matriotic energy, or even this male energy. It could be a father figure, but coupled with the empress. Definitely mother issues, um, issues that go date back to rejection. This divine masculine felt rejected by his mother. He felt used by his mother. He felt disregarded by his mother. He felt betrayed by his mother. He felt that there has been pressures forced on him way too young. And there have been secrets that he has had to deal with and has had to hold over his head. And all of these feelings has repressed him, stunted his growth, stunted his, you know, values and his morals and his views on love and commitment and trust. But he wants to move past that. 
just too much of a burden for this divine masculine. He no longer wants to be in the dark and depressed, holding all these burdens on his back. God, look at that. It's just too much. It's too much. He's tired of not being vulnerable. He has so much compassion for his divine feminine that if he begins to let it out, the feelings, the emotions, the respect, compassion, it will never stop pouring out Ace of Cups. So now that it's clear, this divine masculine has no doubt what this connection is about. There's zero doubt. He just knows that he no longer wants to not bring his empress the recognition that she deserves or he deserves. This emperor does not want to keep anything else illuminated. This emperor wants to be free wants to be loyal, wants to come out of the shell, wants to let the truth rain down, wants balance, wants the secrets that are hidden by the moon to be illuminated by the sun. This emperor, this divine masculine wants to put the sword down because the truth is already known. The truth is already known. But he wants to let his divine feminine know that he knows the truth and that he wants to give validity to this divine connection and he wants to take a leap of faith get past the past and get past the pain three of wands is on the bottom of the celestial deck okay more fire energy three of wands is just an indication of delays and obstacles risk disappointment the divine masculine wants to get past all of the disappointment and the pain and the delays and the blockages placed on this connection even on him on his finances on his manifestation on his forward movement the divine masculine has made many mistakes with karmics past conditionings, ways of life, um, practices that he's outgrown. This divine masculine even knows that certain practices that he has taken part in has caused delays in his own life, obstacles. And he's trying to get the strength to strategize and to plan on how to move forward from his past and to allow himself to transform. I then want to find out what are the secrets? What secrets? Are you 
having a hard time bringing forth regard revolving the karmics regarding your karmic situation what are these secrets that you want and need to disclose and to reveal to your divine feminine divine masculine what secrets are these karmics forcing you to repress that are keeping you depressed and keeping you burdened what are these secrets that you need to release so that you can let go of the burden that is so heavy on your back this double fire divine masculine could definitely be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. These heavy burdens need to be released to my masculine. What are the secrets that burden you? What are the secrets that the karmics are forcing you to repress? What are these karmic secrets? Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups, Air Energy, Water Energy. What are these secrets? What are the karmics forcing you to repress? What do you need to tell the Divine Feminine? What are you repressing, Divine Masculine? Six of Cups flipped over three different times. What must you reveal to the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine? King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Air, fire, energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Divine Masculine definitely wants to be a leader. He wants to mature past these old ways of being these conditioned behaviors he wants respect from his divine feminine this energy is what are you keeping repressed where are the karmics forcing you to repress divine masculine what do you need to reveal to your divine feminine what are the secrets and this energy is letting me know that the divine masculine is saying that his karmic situation is not allowing for him to be a leader to mature from the old ways of being and that certain karmic energies, family members, etc. want to keep him immature. They want to keep him impatient and impulsive so that he can't be able to cut through past the secrets and to step forward as a leader and into his divinity. Okay, we have lots of cards about these secrets and about what the Divine Masculine is not speaking on, what he's repressing.
so the karmics no eight of swords in reverse okay that the divine masculine has been trapped lost disappointed in isolation bogged down with family secrets with pain and with this eight of swords coming out in reverse when asking divine masculine what are you keeping repressed what are the karmics making you feel like you have to repress what do you want to let your divine feminine know in one of the secrets this eight of swords is the karmics are aware that the divine masculine wants to take accountability for his past actions that he's discovering a new way of being and he wants to release his karma and his karmic cycles because nine of cups in reverse he's not satisfied he's not content or emotionally balanced and he is ready to look objectively at the way that he has lived his life up to this point and he has a whole new perception He wants to recover and move forward. He also wants to recover his connection with his divine feminine because she has been his revelation into a whole new way of thinking, being, and living. Next, we got the Seven of Cups. The Karmics want the divine masculine to continue seven of cups being confused about which way to go they want to continue weaving spells keeping him a part of this deceptive illusionary delusionary world temptation and decision and overwhelming insecurity these karmic situations and family members and people however it resonates okay this is a lot of um, water energy here Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have the Eight of Swords in reverse, so that's air energy, but the karmics. Um, no, that the Divine Masculine has had to deal with a lot of insecurities, deep childhood, inner childhood wounding, and these particular energies in particular, this Empress in Reverse, this Mother Energy, this King of Pentacles Energy, Earth Energy, Abusive, Controlling Energy. Praise. Praise on this Divine Masculine's insecurities. Weaving spells of control and temptation but this seven of cups is upright okay along with the fact that they already know that this divine masculine eight of swords wants to come out of old conditionings wants to look at things from a new perspective ready to move forward from the past because there is no contentment there and they know seven of cups that 
there are new possibilities for the divine masculine. But what else is being repressed? What else? What other secrets are there? What else does the divine masculine need to tell the divine feminine about the karmics? Four of Wands. These karmic energies or family members want to create illusions. They want to make him think that his divine connection with his divine feminine is unrealistic. And they want to create tension and instability around this four of wands connection, this divine union, this twin flame, powerful divine connection. Because they know that the union is faded. Five of cups in reverse. What else? Is the divine masculine repressing about the karmic situation and about what he needs the divine feminine to know okay five of cups okay like I said we have a lot of water energy surrounding what's not being revealed hasn't been revealed thus far by the karmic so these karmics definitely could be a uh, water energy um, Pisces Scorpio uh, cancer or even air energy okay um, air or fire so they're definitely trying to stop the connection, the twin flame connection, okay? Um, they want to keep the divine masculine in despair. They have blocks surrounding his finances, and they uh, have done seven of cups, many different types of manipulating um, actions from actions to spells to all kinds of work to keep the divine masculine blocked in his finances, you know, to keep him at a loss, to keep him from manifesting, to keep him in despair surrounding his divine feminine, surrounding his finances, his career, his stability. But they already know with this five of wands, five of cups in reverse, that the divine masculine can't stop thinking can't be disconnected they can do delays and they can do all kinds of things to delay the process but they already know that this divine union twin flame connection is faded and that the divine masculine cannot move past it no matter what tricks they try to play or how they manipulate or what spells they cast but this divine masculine wants forgiveness and he cannot move past the connection that he has with his divine feminine. What else? The divine masculine is repressing. That the divine feminine is his complete wish fulfillment and that he is completely and utterly in love with the Divine Feminine, Ace of Cups. He does not want to overlook this divine gift handed to him by God any longer. And the karmics are doing everything they can do to create illusions, to block the Divine Masculine, to keep him in low vibrational energy, to still the divine, the divine feminine's light to study the divine feminine until they can lure the divine masculine back into karmic cycles. But what's not being said, what the divine masculine can no longer keep secret is that in the past, there has been illusions. He's even been a part of some of this 
magic, some of these manipulation, manipulative actions and behaviors against the Divine Feminine. But he can't deny this divine love, this divine gift from God any longer. It's pure. And being separated from the divine feminine has made him realize how unpure and how un... accepting his past has been his childhood has been the secrets that he has had to keep the behaviors that he has learned from those around him that he respected that he was supposed to love that he was supposed to have protect him that he was supposed to depend on he had to put all those burdens on his back he's had to deal with depression he's had to deal with anxiety and pain and codependency and fear and mistrust he had to push away the only true love he's ever known the only true friend he's ever known because he was never taught how to let go he was taught only Anger, neglect, abuse, mistrust, greed, unpredictability. He was taught that no one's going to be there for you. People are going to leave you. But then he met his divine feminine. And he did everything he could do to push this energy away. Unthinkable things, betrayals. And some of it was his own fear, but a lot of it was his karmic situation and the people around him feeding him lies. Manipulation, illusions, fear. But he is in complete love with his divine feminine. His divine feminine could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or vice versa. Take the energy as it resonates. He also wants the divine feminine to know that Eight of Wands fire energy here, Sagittarius energy here, that he is, the divine masculine is moving forward okay and the karmics know that he is moving forward past the conditionings and the illusions and the magic and this divine masculine is taking action to find balance and to change and no one has ever made him want to change until he met his divine feminine and there's still confusion during this period and the karmics do not want this new perspective to come to pass. These comics do not want their secrets revealed. They don't want to look at themselves. They want to remain in control. The karmics do not want the divine masculine to move forward toward this six of cups past life connection that he has with his divine feminine who was sent here on this earth to help him break these karmic cycles to break karmic cycles that they've had with each other in the past lives 
and the karmics do not want him to move forward toward a Sagittarius or the Divine Masculine could be a Sagittarius. The Divine Masculine could be a Libra or the, the um, Divine Feminine could be a Libra. Take it as it resonates. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. The karmics don't want the divine masculine to move forward toward this past life connection, this divine faded connection to bring his divine feminine justice. But nothing can stop what's truly divine. And fate doesn't wait. And when the divine steps in, there's nothing, nothing that any manipulation, spell work, etc. can do to stop a force or two forces coming together in divine timing. We're just going to clarify some of this energy. <clears throat> seven of cups energy I do believe that that is the crux of the manipulation and what's being repressed by the divine masculine that he wants to reveal to the divine feminine and then we will clarify this justice card and this forward movement with this ace of cups and this past life connection okay during this period the divine masculine doesn't feel worthy the divine masculine doesn't feel worthy of the divine feminine the divine masculine I'm splitting the deck right now to shuffle and again for the third time in this reading so far <laughs> this divine masculine is in his head he is broken up about what he has done to his empress to his divine feminine the empress three times here he is broken up about not bringing his divine feminine the recognition that she deserves. About not tending to this harvest to see the fruits grow that were divinely put here. Many lives, but definitely in this lifetime to break karmic cycles so that this connection can live on for eons ascended 
forever. No more repeating past lives. No more karmic cycles ever. Twin flames don't always get a chance to meet here in the 3D. It's very far and few between. It's like a once in a lifetime chance to finally, after repeating life cycles and life cycles, to meet in the 3D and actually come into union and both break your karmic cycles, get your rights, rights of passage, clear your karma, and then do work together here on earth and to keep ascending in this lifetime and many more to come. And this divine masculine is broken up about what he's done and the chance that he may have missed. Because now he's completely aware of this connection. And in splitting the deck, we got again the Eight of Wands. Forward movement. The Divine Masculine either wants desperately to move forward with his Divine Feminine and move past his karmic situations and the pain or he's desperately concerned that his Divine Feminine is moving on. We're gonna clarify these cards and then we are going to <clears throat> do a, an action and find out exactly what the Divine Masculine wants to tell the Divine Feminine. wants balance he desperately wants balance his empress is what balances him and he's lost without his divine feminine he is completely off balance right now and I need you divine feminine I need you so much I'm so sorry for the pain I've caused you if you have experienced and I know you have because you're my twin and you feel my pain and we have telepathy if you have ever felt anything close to what I'm feeling right now because I'm being judged and I'm going through my karma if I've ever made you feel anything close to this then I don't even want to live that's how off balance I am right now <clears throat> 